Paisley Pastor will take center stage at next week's Republican National Convention. Pastor Mark Burns is the only South Carolinian chosen to give a speech. He is a longtime supporter of Donald Trump and has traveled the country this year stumping for the presidential hopeful. 7 News' Addie Hampton sat down with him today to learn about the message behind his upcoming speech. Mr. Trump um, is a man that does not forget people who supports him. And easily Pastor Mark Burns has been a Trump supporter for a long time. Now he's ready to tell a watching world Monday in a speech at the Republican National Convention. To have a local pastor from South Carolina and to, I think to be the only voice from the great state of South Carolina to be speaking to the nation, to the world, that's humbling. Isn't it amazing? Man, Donald Trump just swept. As the head of the Now Television Network and pastor of Easley's Harvest Praise and Worship Center, Burns has traveled the country stumping for Trump. We are Americans. We are one people. At every stop, he says he shares a message of unity. We really have to bring our country together. We have to really stop focusing on the things that separate us. It's a timely message, he says, as the country undergoes turmoil, often dividing down racial lines. So when I say that we have to uh, stop making issues in black communities black issues and start making it an American issue, they will never get solved. Addressing criticism, Burns says calling him a black pastor supporting Trump is a distracting rhetoric that panders to people. I'm not just a yes man on the campaign trail. Burns says he's part of a select team within the Trump campaign we helping to create policies affecting minority communities. A five point plan is set to be released following the convention. But first, Burns says he has to get through this speech, which will have a familiar theme. There's more that we can learn from each other by loving each other. In Easley, Addie Hampton, 7 News. Of course, we will be live at the convention next week. We're sending Gordon Dill to Cleveland to bring you live reports every single day. Also, be sure you keep following 7 News on Facebook and Twitter for the latest.